Hey guys, in the latest video I have shown you how to create a custom fi custom filter based on the CI kernel kernel. So now I'm gonna show you how to apply uh, filters and other possible transformations to the video during its playback. And I will start with a show with a small demo. It's pretty, isn't it? So, I'm going to show you how to achieve this, this cool feature. Uh, the first thing you have to know is, is called the composition. This is the uh, AV video composition and uh, it should be applied to the AV player item object, uh, which uh, have to be created. Uh, with the same asset as the AV player item itself. So, if you create this composition with uh, uh, a request handler, uh, it will be called for every single uh, frame of the video. And here from the request you can extract the uh, frame image and you can also manipulate it the way you want. So you just have to uh, finish the request uh, either with uh, uh, image or with uh, error. So uh, you can like apply any uh, anything you want based on the uh, on the current timestamp. You can also retrieve from the request. And you can apply uh, apply filter and change them on fly. So here is how can you uh, configure the uh, player item and the player itself. So you have to create the player item with an asset. Also, you have to specify the video composition with the same asset. Uh, after that, uh, you have to create the player. And in my case, uh, I, uh, I have built the player looper just to uh, loop this uh, video. Okay, after that, uh, you can, as usual, create the every player layer and just put it uh, to any view you want and just play. So, also you can use this uh, video composition uh, for the uh, AV asset recorder. If you are going to export this, that video, uh, it also be useful uh, to apply it during the exporting. So here you uh, have seen how to achieve this cool effect. If you like it, please like the video and subscribe for more updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.